Hey, what's up, guys? Extreme Deck and X here again. Um, today I'm gonna show my updated uh, Vitaxorn deck. Um, I got most of the cards for my deck now. Um, all I really need to do is upgrade the rarities and uh, maybe a couple more cards. And yeah, so I'm looking for uh, Aaron the Lightsworn Monk and Thunder King Riles if you guys have it. Um, just PM me an offer and check out my binder. And uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and my partner, War Hero. And uh, we'll start back. And yeah, uh, uh, here's the deck. So you have uh, one Dark Arm Dragon, and a lot of dark options. Uh, two Judgment Dragons, you know, it's a light turn deck. Uh, two Celestias, yeah, no, no explanation needed. Uh, two Lilas, two Honest. Uh, two wolves. I might add a third one in to add more lights for monsters, but you know, for now, two works fine. And I, I draw wolves a lot, so I really I don't know if I'm gonna have a third one in. Um, Arcus is a great card. Um, you know, lights ones can't be targeted, etc. Uh, Lumina. She's only at one now, so you know that sucks. Uh, two wolves. It's awesome card this format. Um, you know, everyone's running this now, but you know, as a live one user, you might as well. Uh, one Garrot, you know, extra draw power, really. Uh, Jane, a beat stick. One Necrogardna, I mean, you might as well. Like, I, I don't plan on running battle faders and stuff, but, you know, Necro one Necrogardna is okay for now. Uh, Plague, you only tuner in the deck. Gores, I mean, uh, there's not really OTK anymore, but I like having a 2700 Peter, and um, you basically get two level seven, so that's uh, Mist Swarm, easy Mist Swarm right there. Um, Sangan, um, you know, to search out uh, Lumina because you know, lights the lights one that basically runs on Lumina, but um, if you can't get her, get her, then you can get her with Sangan, or if you, if you don't have the option of getting her, then you can always get Honest or like all these other options. And uh, what makes this deck value sworn uh, value? Um, you know, two is working just fine. I might add in a third one, but you know, um, just I'm still play testing the deck. If you guys have a third one, PM me an offer. Um, then we have. Uh, Three Sirocco, um, these are a lot better than Elfin because you could actually use, use this guy and he's amazing against the Mirror Match, uh, not Mirror Match, uh, Blackwing because uh, basically if they swarm you with Blackwings, you could just pump them up and start taking them out one by one. Then we have uh, Charge, uh, Solar Recharge, you know, no explanation, just your milling draw engine. Uh, one allure because you have a lot of dark targets. Uh, Monster Incarnation. Um, I run this over two beckonings because um, I don't know because you get to it. It add you you could do like same turn destruction instead of you know setting up one turn. But you know I might change it because the format has gotten slower. But for now I like it. And obviously you get your JDs and stuff with it. Uh, heavy, you know. My body, um, because of all this, you know, s smashing and fissures going around, or mirrors, you need to protect yourself against that. Uh, Foolish Burial, it's an amazing card in this deck, especially because um, you, you can think of Foolish Burial as a situational card, but in this deck, it works in every situation, so it's it's like an amazing card. Then we have a uh, Burial, um, you know, just to uh, re you know recycle uh, bios and stuff. I mean, when you use this, then you, you could basically get Bayou, uh, Bayou, Sync for uh, Armduin, get Plague, Sync that, get Arm, um, Stardust, and then resync another Bayou, and then use this and just keep syncing Bayous over. Basically, you're filled up with um, Black Queen monsters. Uh, Mirror Force, you know, staple. Torrential, staple. Uh, Call the Haunted. Um, I chose the randoms because um, the format has gotten slower and I normally don't like running this because it's so slow but um, you know with this format it's it's been people have been getting it to work so you know might as well try it out 
and then I have uh, three threatening wars. You know, it works great because you don't have Necro Gardeners anymore. And if you're playing GPs or something, then you could do your Lumina Garoth mill and stuff like that, and then protect your Lumina for one turn. And then you can set up for big plays the next turn. And one beckoning, you know, obvious. And uh, for the side deck, I mean extra deck, I mean, we have uh, Magic on Android, Capacitor, no, no explanation really needed, Goyo, Bryonac, and because of all, all the values and stuff, you need uh, two arm wings, uh, two armor masters, and uh, silver wind just in case. I mean, I rarely ever got them out, but you know, um, when you when you have your burial and all that stuff ready, it could work. Then uh, rose, you know, it's basically a staple extra. Colossal, it's really good now because of X sabers and stuff, and it sucks too because light swords tight, but you know, it works both ways. Uh, Dark Ruler Archfiend. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. I added this card because, um, you know, all, everyone's using Gravekeeper Spy and all that stuff now, so you know, just get rid of all of them in one blow. So it's a really good card this format. Uh, Stardust Dragon. You know, and uh, Mist Warren. This is a must in Light Sworn deck because of your uh, Lumina, then you could get a level 4 uh, Light Sworn monster and then a Plague, and it's, in it's an instant Mist Warren. As well as uh, using uh, what's it called uh, gores. I mean, when you you basically clear the field with this guy, and it's a pretty strong hitter, 2500. So yeah, that was my uh, value sworn deck. Um, you know, it's still a work in progress, but and I haven't played it in a tournament yet, but I plan on doing it soon. So yeah, um, if you guys have any cards I need it, then just PM me an offer and check out my trade binder, and be sure to sub to me, and I'll sub back. And yeah.